Google TV's been announced, but why wait when you can have interactive TV today? Hello, and welcome to Apple Day TV. I'm Diane Mizora. This is Scott Rubin, who today is giving us a glimpse into the future. Yeah, Google announced Google TV, which will take the internet and put it on your TV, but I've been doing that for a pretty long time, Diane. He's really Old advanced, hat. though. Yeah. He's totally I, advanced. I hook up my MacBook Pro to the TV, and the thing I don't like is if you want to control both the TV and the web and everything, they want to sell you some kind of crazy gyroscopic remote control and keyboard. You need it all wireless. All that is expensive, but of course, there's an app for that. You can use your phone or your iPad as the remote and the mouse and the keyboard and everything. So it's if you all control software. your TV or it's just controlling your computer, which is being using your TV as a monitor? It'll control the computer, okay. which is using the TV as a monitor. But once you're in there, you can do everything from open up specific applications. You want to open your mail. The icons that are usually in your dock on the Mac will be actually on the phone and on your iPad. So you can instantly access any of the programs on your computer. But then let's say you're watching a video or listening to music. You want controls specific to those programs. You can switch to a keyboard that's basically just the buttons for iTunes. Play, rewind, fast forward. Or if you're browsing the web, you can switch to a keyboard that's specifically for that. It'll switch tab. It'll do the home button. It'll do search. All kind of customizable. Like The other cool thing is multi-touch. You have a multi-touch trackpad on your iPad and your iPhone. So instead of having to use a mouse where you're hunched over and putting it on the coffee table, you just run your finger over your phone or your iPad, and the mouse moves around the screen just like it would if you were using the mouse. And what about a keyboard? So all you got to do when you want to bring up the keyboard is you give the little shake to the iPhone or the iPad, and the keyboard slides up. And then you can type just like you normally would. You want to put it away. You give it a shake again. It'll slide down. Wow. Very, very cool. It works in the long landscape or um, widescreen mode. OK. And how much is this app? It's free. There's a free version what? that lets you do all this stuff for free. If you want a little more advanced version that has a few more extra customized keyboard, you can pay a little bit more. There's like a $1.99 version. It's really one of the greatest apps I've had because I can go from using my Mac on my TV and controlling it to switching to the PC. So it does both Mac and PC. I'm Amazing. able to control both of them. And what I really like is that you can also switch to uh, gyroscope mode. So it uses the accelerometer in your mouth so that I can use it like this. So I can move up, down, left, right with the mouse instead of having to use my finger. That is cool. It's very customizable. These guys have been around a while. I got this app when it cost five bucks. Now it's free. And then there's like a $1.99 version. So, uh, but to it, save you all that other hardware, I mean, even five bucks is a veritable bargain. I found a $60 remote that you can buy in the store that doesn't even do everything that this does for two bucks. So it's Genius. definitely worth it. I love it. It's called the Mobile Air Mouth. It's available for the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and the iPad. And it really is great if you're a home theater guy that likes to use your PC on your TV. i got to get you to come over and set up my home theater. I will do that. Kind of we'll stuff. see you next time on App A Day. Bye, everybody.